In this episode, we are the architects of our own imaginary worlds. We're building an armory for Infinity the Game. Roll that intro! Welcome to Corner Case. You are home sweet home in the hobby corner. I am your host, your recently returned international traveler, and your best friend, Deck. And in this episode, we are building an armory. So in Infinity the Game, there are two missions, Armory and Panic Room, that have a required piece of terrain at the center of the board. If you go to tournaments, I believe this central piece of terrain is usually present on almost every board because it is useful for those two missions and doesn't hurt in other missions. Because of that, I think it's a really cool defining piece of any board, and I thought that it would be really cool for the channel to have at least one. So in this episode, I go through my process inspiring and designing this central piece of terrain to Infinity the Game, the Armory. It will later be available on Patreon for our Patreon members. Thank you so much for your support always, and potentially down the line as actual physical 3D printed objects. We'll have to see. We don't know where the design is going to end up, and that will affect a lot of it. Uh, if it goes well, we might we might make more. Building terrain has become a passion of mine since playing Infinity because the game itself really interacts with the terrain so well and it's so immersive to see just a board full of really cool sci-fi pieces. Really awesome to see people putting so much work in my local community and hopefully yours, building out those worlds, painting them. So let's make our contribution, our drop in the bucket of Infinity world building. Let's go. All right, everybody, we are designing an armory for Infinity the game. I checked the requirements for the armory, and there are only a few. The first is simply that it is an 8 inch by 8 inch box, and those, I believe, only pertain to the interior dimensions of the box then that they need to fit two objective markers which with eight inches you have more than enough space and relatively speaking they are in those positions now one thing i want to note is that on one side there is no specification for the total outer perimeter of this box uh, it only cares that there is a defined inner perimeter uh, nextly, there are doors that can fit size 2 models, I believe, on all four sides, and they have to open. And then the last requirement pertains to the overall height. So if this is your 8x8 eight eight box, then the armory is always infinitely high. So... I believe we want something in the design that implies the infinite height. It's easy to forget when you're playing a game. Sometimes you'll be calculating and you'll think that you have line of sight to something and then you'll just like completely forget this armory is actually infinitely high. So those are the ground rules. 8 inch interior dimension, uh, infinite exterior dimension, 4 doors, and infinitely high. So, that being said, let's take a look at Pinterest. Let's get some inspo going. And we're back over at the Pinterest. So, we want to do some inspiration. I've already done some, but I'm going to walk us through what exactly I've been looking at. Let's do sci-fi, armory. Let's just see, like, what Pinterest has to offer. Now, just know, you know, we are designing this thing for a generic infinity game. So we kind of want it to be, we kind of want it to fit in to like almost anyone's table. So it does have to have like a component of generic sci-fi-ness to it in terms of the style. But I think we want to tell a story. Armory didn't really give us like what we wanted. So maybe like a, let's just blow it out to building sci-fi building. For those of you who aren't using Pinterest, it's a really great way of building your visual vocabulary and saving the boards is pretty easy and convenient. Instant image board, always welcome. Interesting. So I'm looking at these sci-fi buildings and what I'm seeing is kind of like a real focus on 
weird silhouettes. Now, I, I don't really have that much vertical space to play. I know that the armory should be infinitely tall, but generally speaking, when you're playing, you want to look inside of it. So even though it is infinitely tall, you kind of want it to not be that tall when you're playing. So like, I guess this one is kind of interesting, but this one doesn't imply infinitely tall as much. What it does pretty well, though, is... I kind of like the idea that it implies it's like subterraneously built, like built into the ground. I think that's pretty cool. Mm. Oh, this is kind of interesting. This is kind of like a, this has like a little bit of a Star Wars vibe to it, just a little bit. Little uh, moisture farm situation. I don't know if that's like the story I want to tell necessarily. This motherfucker, this looks kind of like an armory, I think. Not like an armory, but like this looks like a place of importance. Yeah, it really communicates that importance, I think. And, you know, if we take into account the fact that we don't care about the total silhouette exterior of our armory, it could work out pretty well. Oh, this is a kind of interesting, a circular kind of, um, circular kind of thing. I think this is actually already miniature terrain right here. Yeah, you can tell this is already a MDF. Pretty cool, but I think not for us. I think we want to go a little higher sci-fi than that. All right, so this is the board that I ended up creating uh, after looking at all of those images. And let's walk through some important ones. So this I thought was pretty cool because I was thinking, you know, the doors are a part of it. You use a short skill to open the doors. And so I thought it would be kind of nice to have like, you know, that be a main feature of our design here. I thought this thing was kind of nice for like a panoply, um, so I thought that could be like pretty cool. Like I was imagining this tells a story about like when, when you go into the panoply, like rolling the die and like whatever armor you get, imagine it's like you're actually standing in this like thing and it like, like the, the armor or the gun materializes around you. I thought that would be like pretty sick. Um, I thought this image was kind of cool for like what could be inside the armory because usually inside the armory there's like a big piece of terrain just to block line of sight so you're not shooting through it. So I thought this like concept of a uh, of kind of I think they're called gantries like a gantry or something. So it's like a pretty cool thing to do. Oh this right here I got kind of excited about doing like the airlock slash vault door especially because it's like an armory kind of situation. Again, like using the door as a primary feature because the building itself is infinitely tall. So I thought this would be like a cool place to spend my detail points. The floating sphere. So this is like completely out of proportion. Like this is almost like a city scale right here, which is kind of crazy. But I thought it would be kind of fun if like the, uh, the roof of the armory was like a ball or something and you had to like remove it to see inside. I thought that would be kind of fun. Yeah, I just like these like coming out of the ground kind of ideas. I thought were pretty fun. Not something you see every day, kind of spacey. This one, I thought the way the mechanical components are integrated into the structure were like pretty cool and kind of gives you a reason why you have like some infinitely tall structure, but really the functional components are at the bottom. So, you know, it just seemed like of the metagame of uh, striking silhouette sci-fi buildings, but this seemed like the best execution to me. Oh, and another one here I thought was pretty nice is the concept that the armory has like a ground floor that's like accessible, and then really what's making up the height are these like mechanical components. So I thought that was like pretty fun. I might actually do something a little bit like this. Uh, it's like pretty, pretty unique. Like I was imagining like uh, if you have like an energy fence or some shit, you know, surrounding it, energy fence plus like mechanical components. This thing was cool because this was like maybe we could do a uh, just a bunch of bins, you know, like a, like shipping containers. So your, your, your armory is actually like a, a skyscraper of shipping containers. I thought that was like a cool story for like what the armory could possibly be. And then this one, kind of like just your fortified building kind of look, I thought could be nice. The big garage door, but maybe there's like a, do a door within the garage door. Oh, and lastly, the concept that the whole armory is actually a walker, I thought was like pretty sick. So let's like copy some of these and then put them over in our thing. All right, so we are back in sketching and let's do some ideas for our armory. Uh, let's start with kind of like the walker idea. 
because I think that could be kind of cool. Like imagine you have like a big platform that's your eight by eight and then your actual like big platform it's like some some mechanisms down there and then there's your walking it's like actually on stilts it's on it's on its crab legs oh not like that like this i know it's like super messy but we're just trying to like do ideas you know what i'm saying oh dude this would be so sick and then imagine that like it was actually like articulating like like this surface isn't level so in side view could like you know look like that because of your legs or whatever yeah that would be really fun yeah your legs look like that kind of and then your panoplies are here I think that could be pretty cool. You could just make it so that like maybe this distance to ground level would be like not super high. That could be like one inch or something or like up to 1.5 inch so that you could say that your size two model can vault it. Or maybe instead of doors, like flavor wise, you could say that like you have to like time it so that you wait for the walk cycle to like achieve like you being able to walk onto there, I think would be pretty sick. Oh, dude, I'm like way more invested in this, uh, in this like walking platform armory than like anything else. I'm like pretty down with this. I like the idea of like ambushing like a moving thing, you know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, obviously it would imply that the legs are wild beefy, but you know, cause like, so in side view, let's see, you get so this thing is basically like a carrier. I know that we're saying it's like infinitely high, but I think that's where it gets kind of interesting. We could say that it's carrying like these uh, shipping containers like all the way up. I guess at that point, is it like a walker or is it like a tank? You know what I'm saying? It could be like a tank, I guess. Like you have your, like a tank would be more feasible. That would be more, uh, not feasible. It would be more like plausible at that point. So you have like a tank and the tank is actually your armory. And then that would also kind of like explain why it would be like armored up to a certain point. That could be like kind of fun. I mean like my cop out idea, my cop out idea was like something coming up out of the ground. And then you have these like energy poles or something. they make these sounds tss, you know what i'm saying um and then like basically you have to breach the energy field to like go in i thought that could be kind of cool but dude at this point uh i think i'm just gonna commit to the walker because like i'm like obviously most excited about it so let's start designing like these legs probably like that I feel like in infinity, infinity would probably break this surface like this and then probably add like a glowing orb or something and then like another one over here. And then usually if you look at like the Rudress and other models, they'll sometimes have this like wheel thing or this like combination of wheels, finger wheels rather at the end of this ball. I think we kind of want something industrial, so like that. Sci-fi is all about just like way too many broken surfaces, you know what I'm saying? And everything kind of looks like a car, sort of. That's like um, an idea for like the the meat of the leg and then usually there's like wires and like miscellaneous sci-fi bits right there we could push this out like even more yeah because like you kind of want that situation to be like armored you know and then oh you know what i bet this thing is like so freaking heavy that they need like little little thrusters oh yeah baby that's what this thing needs it needs these like little thrusters and that's like actually how these legs are coming up 
and supporting like however mil however many millions of tons of weight because of this infinitely tall building that it's walking. Okay, then we'll put this break in here still because it feels, feels like that's a requirement. Put another ball, glowing infinity ball. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That makes way more sense. It's more about these thrusters like helping along these little bladed finger wheels along. Yeah, that like that like tracks for me. It's sci-fi, man. Oh, this is like definitely also like a little thruster. Little one. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. All right, we're like getting somewhere here. Okay. All right. There you go. Uh yeah, something like that. But then maybe maybe this actually needs to be a support piece down here because it is so heavy. So it has like a support piece. Yeah. And then that all eventually connects back up and it has these like it has these like piston things. There you go. So there's like a ball here. There's like a ball here or like a whatever other hinge. This is like a secondary foot. And then let's just let's just line weight this a little bit. Feel better about it. Yeah, there you go. So this is a this is a part right here. That's a ball. There you go. Something like that is like the main leg piece. Let's like be a little bit lazy and copy this. Oops. Oof, let's be extra lazy. Flip horizontal. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay, so you have those. And then uh, let's assume those are coming out of like the flat side. Okay, so you have... Uh, and I mean like it's sci-fi, you know, so... Oh man, this is like a really intense perspective. There's probably like almost no... Like that right there is definitely flat. Okay, but this kind of wants some, like, meat to it, you know. Like, realistically, the shape kind of looks like sci-fi-ish, and sci-fi-ish means kind of like this, you know. That's like your sci-fi docking plate or whatever, for sure, 100%. So that's what that looks like. And then you have your other legs on the other side. It does look like, like it needs help. Let's let's redo this page a little bit. Let's widen this leg a little bit too. Let's take that. And then we'll move that one leg out even more. Like that. Okay. Okay. So realistically, there's kind of like a home for it. And let's draw like an upshot, because that's like kind of what we need to flush out right now. Okay, so there's like a home for it. Do like this upshot here. So another there, another there. Oh, there you go. Yeah, the bottom can't just be like um the bottom can't just be flat. It's gotta be like something that can actually sit. So there's that. Maybe uh maybe it's got like a spike or something so that like when it does like nest, it nests like straight into the ground. And then like this right here has got to be like one surface instead of like the lump that I drew. So we'll erase that side of it. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Then there's probably some, uh, there you go. There's definitely something sci-fi going on up there. So you have to spend your short order to make it bow so that you can like hop onto it. Sick. As I'm illustrating this walking armory, I can't help but think that this is the start of a whole board of, of, of walking terrain for infinity. Like, like imagine this is like an unexpected way to execute a, a infinity train heist. Like, yes, there's like, like the concept of the monorail, like interrupting space docking, you know, those types of sci-fi. But this, this is kind of more of like a, a land battle train heist skirmish that's happening in the midst of these walking pieces of terrain imagine like every every turn for example they could move 
up to three inches or something and and that would be really cool i mean obviously not in a traditional mission like like uh like, like armory or, or panic room but imagine that would be something really cool for like a narrative campaign and so i'm really excited now that i've kind of designed this to see where it goes i understand that it's <laughs> i'm trying to imagine uh this walker stacked with so many shipping containers as to as, as to be the height of a, of a several story building or, or a skyscraper and it's extremely impractical but hey it's also sci-fi so yeah as i'm starting to get close i i'm really starting to get excited to see this execution across an entire table and i'm starting to think already about how to design the mechanical so that when you 3d print it you do get a little bit of articulation in the legs that would be so cool and remember, the narrative way to play this armory is you do have to spend your short skill, but it's not technically opening a door. It's instead like freezing the walker or having the walker stop in a convenient position as for you to get on, which I think is pretty sick. It doesn't have to literally be a door. Oh, yeah, and here it is, my finished Infinity Armory Room. Not exactly what I was expecting to get out of this and probably not what you were expecting to see, but I'm pretty excited and I hope you are too. So that was part one. We just designed our sweet, sweet corner case armory. First of hopefully more. I think it's pretty cool to make more. And we will be designing it in CAD in the future so that it can be 3D printed. Hope you had fun. Look forward to further updates on this. I'm really excited to offer this to our, our community members and uh, hopefully in the future we can start seeing some corner case boards out there. Let us know if you have any ideas in the comments below, of course. Otherwise, thank you so much to all of our supporters on Patreon, all you subscribers, anyone who leaves comments below. I know I have been slow about getting to that and anyone on Discord, join the Discord, please. We beg you, we're always desperate. We love you guys and see you next time. Bye-bye. I am ready to subscribe again.